It's always exciting when details slip directly from Samsung, confirming what many have speculated. The pricing and final specs for the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition and the Galaxy Tab S10 series definitely align with Samsung's strategy of offering powerful premium devices across various price points. The Galaxy S24 Fan Edition, starting at $649.99, seems like a competitive price given its feature set, especially with its Exynos 2400 e chipset and advanced camera system. However, some may find the price increase over the previous Fan Edition a bit steep. As for the Galaxy Tab S10 Plus and S10 Ultra, it's clear that Samsung is positioning these tablets as premium productivity devices. The S10 Ultra's pricing, especially for the 16GB plus 1TB model at $1,619.99, makes it a true competitor to high-end tablets from Apple and other brands. The decision to skip a base model, at least for now, shows that Samsung is prioritizing these high-performance models. The color options are also intriguing, though it's a bit disappointing that the yellow Galaxy S24 Fan Edition won't be available in the US. Overall, these devices seem like solid upgrades. But what do you think about the price hikes, particularly for the Fan Edition? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. The leaks about the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition are definitely building up a lot of anticipation, especially with the recent unboxing video from Evan Blass. The camera improvements are a highlight, with the 50MP main camera and 3x optical zoom suggesting Samsung is focusing heavily on photography, particularly in low-light conditions. For those who prioritize camera quality in mid-range devices, this might be a compelling option. The Exynos 2000 400E chipset powering the device should offer solid performance, though it will be interesting to see how it compares to the regular Exynos 2400 in real-world usage. The 6.7-inch display with 1,900 nits of brightness and Gorilla Glass Victus plus protection is also a significant upgrade, ensuring the phone can handle everyday wear and tear. However, the price increase is something to consider. The base model at $649 being $50 more expensive than its predecessor might make some potential buyers hesitate, especially since mid-range phones are becoming more competitive. Still, the added features and camera upgrades could justify the price hike for those who want a premium experience at a slightly lower cost than flagship models. The absence of a charger in the box continues to be a standard practice for Samsung, so that's not surprising but it may still be disappointing for some buyers. The color options, particularly mint and yellow, add a nice touch of variety for users who like to personalize their device's appearance. What do you think about the price increase and the camera upgrades? Are they enough to convince you to upgrade or buy the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition? Let me know in the comments. The potential launch of the Galaxy S24 Fan Edition alongside the Galaxy Tab 10 Plus and Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra on September 26 is an exciting development. The teaser video from Samsung Vietnam hints strongly at the Galaxy S24 Fe, especially with its Galaxy iFan Edition features and familiar metal frame design. This suggests that Samsung is positioning the S24 FE as a high-end option with features likely borrowed from its flagship models, but offered at a more accessible price point. The pre-order perks, including a discount of VND 2 million, around $81.20, are a nice incentive, making it even more appealing to early adopters. It's interesting to note that Samsung is moving forward with blind pre-registrations in countries like India for the Galaxy Tab S10 series, which means we can expect these devices to hit global markets soon as well. The launch of these devices together could generate a lot of excitement, especially for fans of Samsung's Fan Edition series, which typically strikes a great balance between performance and value. If the S24 Fan Edition delivers on its promises, it could become a solid option for those seeking a flagship-like experience at a more affordable price. What do you think? 
Are you looking forward to the Galaxy S24 FE or one of the Galaxy Tab S10 models? Let me know in the comments.